Okay, we are going to look at autumn leaves with the right hand um, putting a four, a three to four note chord in the right hand. And what we're going to do, this is called, um, you know, like chord melody. You're going to have the top note of your chord is going to be an important note in the melody. So we're not going to do every single note. Mainly we're going to be looking at those whole notes, the half notes, you know, at the end of each phrase. Okay? So the very first one, we're starting with C minor 7. And instead of doing a root position C minor 7, uh, we are going to take it to this inversion with an E flat on the top because that is the note that is in the melody. So there we have C minor 7. The next chord is F7. So hey, guess what? The top two notes are the same. The bottom two notes drop down, so you're doing an F dominant in root position. So let's do that again. So it's C minor 7, and then F dominant. Then your next big note, the half note, is a D. So we're going to take a B flat major 7 right there. So there's your B flat triad. Adding that note right there makes it a major 7. Then it goes to E flat major 7. Well, guess what? These top two notes don't have to change. You can just lower the bottom two and now you have E flat major 7 in root position. All right, the next chord is A minor 7 flat 5, and the top note is a C, so I'm on the second line. So building an A minor 7 flat 5 with a C on the top looks like that. There's the flat 5, here's the 7, here's the 1, here's the 3. The next chord is D7, guess what? The top two notes are already being played. You just have to drop the bottom two notes to a D and an F sharp, and you have a D dominant in a root position. And then the next chord is G minor, right here. So D is the bottom note, B flat is the top. All right, so we are going to run that again. It's the same thing. Actually, the next two lines are exactly the same, so I'll go a little quicker. So it's C minor 7, F7, B flat major 7, bottom two notes stay the same, E flat major, top two notes stay the same, A minor 7, flat 5, bottom two notes stay the same, D7, top two notes stay the same, and finishing with a G minor. That is the A section. Now let's move on to the B section. We want an A on the top. Since you went away, so we're going to put that A on the top, and then you're going to build your chord underneath it which is going to look like that. So you got your A, here's the 7, there's the flat 5, there's the minor 3rd. So the next chord is D dominant. You're going to just move those two middle notes so you still have an A on the top, C is on the bottom, D dominant. The days grow long, long as a B flat, so your G minor is going to look like that. You want the B flat on the top. Next line, soon I'll hear, that's a C, so you're going to make your C minor 7 like this. F7 is the next chord. So your two middle notes will change. The bottom note and the top note stay the same. So here's C minor 7, and here's F7. Next chord is a B 
flat major 7, but again we want that D on the top, so it looks like this. This is similar to the beginning. And then you're looking at E flat major, which again, root position is right there. Now we're on the line, I miss you most of all. So A minor 7 with a flat 5, we're actually going to do it like this because you want that E flat on the top because it's in the melody on, on the chart. So here's the A minor 7 flat 5, A diminished, there you go, and add the 7 right there. And then it goes to a D dominant. And we're going to do right here. So a D dominant is F sharp, A, C, and D. And then this next part is a little tricky. It goes kind of, it will eventually go kind of fast. So it's G minor 7. You can actually keep these same notes for a C9 because this is the 5, this is the flat 7, and this is the 9 of C. So G minor and C9 are the same chord. And then F minor 7. We're just going to play that right there. F minor 7. And then we're going to skip that B flat dominant. It comes in really quickly and I don't think it's necessary. So then look at E flat major 7. You're looking at the last line, E flat, e flat major 7. And let's put a C on the top of that, just because, again, it's in the melody, and that's kind of like what we're trying to do, is put the melody note on the top. So it's actually an E flat 6, uh, you know, so, but for right now, that's what we're going to do, have a C on the top. The next chord is A minor 7 with a flat 5, right there. The A is on the top, there's the 7, the flat 5, the 3, and here's the D7 with a sharp 5. So here's the D, there's a D7 right there, there's the 7, sharp 5 is right here, and then G minor with a G on the top would look like that. 